What's up, freaks? Welcome to Steve Knows, episode number eight. Today we are talking about SOPs. SOPs for every area of your business. And first off, I want to ask you, do you even know what an SOP is? And then, do you even have SOPs in your business? Do you even know what they, exactly what they are? And does everyone know how to use them? Does everyone know where to find them? We're going to go a deep dive into it here in just a second. We're going to learn on how to build your SOPs, your standard operating procedures, your operations manuals from scratch. We're going to do a, a quick, sharp, deep, dirty, dirt dive into it here today. But this is Steve Knows, episode number eight. You know, we have other shows throughout the week. Steve Says, which is about the mental side, the mind, the mindset, personal development. Steve Does, which is about the, the health, fitness, nutrition. This is Steve Knows. This is a live show on how to have a no excuses business mindset guiding you to better leadership, communication, teamwork, and problem solving so you can make more money with strategy and structure to operate, to dominate on the battlefield of business. This is for business owners, executives, managers, and their teams that are struggling with the, the daily or just want to level up in the daily development, teaching, and training of your team, where this will guide them on how to become even better leaders, communicators, and problem solvers so they'll be prepared for the everyday battle that goes on in the business world and just in the, in the work world in general. And they will begin to treat the business as if it's their own, allowing you to focus on the growth and the scale of the company. Basically helping companies, owners, teams, and managers with, again, the leadership, teamwork, communication in this highly immersive, developmental way. And it's about building you and your team for the battlefield of business. So let's freaking roll. This is episode number eight of Steve Knows. We're talking about SOP, Standard Operating Procedures. And this comes straight from the freaking military, from the Marine Corps. And I'll tell you what, in the Marines, they are some, they have the fucking PhD in creating SOPs. I mean, every single task, there was nothing that you did. Like they literally told you how to go take a fucking piss, like step by step, lift right arm, switch light switch, unzipper your fucking drawers, whatever. Don't miss like everything step by step with pictures and whatever resources you need is something that because in the Marine Corps, how you, how you really work on leadership is developing future leaders. We call it maneuver warfare. It's how you have speed and action and violence and take a small force to overwhelm a force of much greater size is by this maneuver warfare. And it's by empowering and developing future leaders. The only way to do that is to train them up the right way, coach them up, mentor them, lead them. And it starts with these SOPs, with standard operating procedures. It starts with having frameworks, having detailed guidelines, instructions, rules, boundaries, systems, processes, operations, manuals. And we did it better than fucking anyone in the Marine Corps. And I, I've taken those skills and fine-tuned it to fit into the business world. And that's what we've done in every company that I've, that I've ever been a part of is detailed SOPs. We are talking about, I mean, and listen, this is what you need to do. If you want to scale your business, you need to develop future leaders. To develop future leaders, you need SOPs. You need, and, and if you watch back to the previous episodes of Steve Knows, you've seen there's been kind of a progression here about there was prospecting for new talent for your team. There was hiring. There was interview processing. There was onboarding. I've been taking you through this whole, if you just follow these steps, it's basically the blueprint, blueprint to building a scalable fucking multi-million dollar business. That's what we're doing. Scale or fucking fail, baby. And with these SOPs, you can delegate so that you can elevate. It allows you to let go so you can grow. Let go of the tasks that you shouldn't be wasting your fucking time doing. If you're, the, if you're the manager, the owner, whatever position you're in, you should be doing what only you can do and not all the other little shit that could be delegated out. In order to delegate out, you need the SOPs, the standard operating procedures. So we're talking detailed. We're talking every single task. Let's say I'm a personal trainer in a gym. Every single task should have an SOP. And we're talking a systemized order, a checklist in order, 
let's say in there, like in the gym, for instance, we had SOPs on how to open the gym, how to close the gym, how to deal with a walk-in, how to answer the phone, how to warm up a, a session, how to teach a training session, how to cool down a session. Like what there were specific procedures on every single task for every single position. Now, if it's something like that, which is hands-on and people related, so you'd have your checklist. Each one of those might have a separate file going into detail, but they all, each step would have either a picture, a screenshot, a video, a demonstration video of me or someone else actually demonstrating how to do this. Let's say we're talking about properly doing a cool-down circle in a gym. A cool-down circle in a gym, we're going to sit there and we had a specific guidelines and SOP of what to do and the way that it would stretch, the way that you would talk, the way you'd put them in a circle, the way you'd introduce new members, the way you'd, we would take group pictures, then post the group pictures, like all this stuff was on there. If there was any awards to give out, we'd have awards. There was then SOPs on what awards there were, what, what milestones people had, and we'd have a picture with that with a whiteboard saying what the milestone was or the award was. They'd have a medal or an award or a t-shirt. Whatever it was, maybe completing their first session. Maybe they hit a goal. They hit 50 pounds weight loss. We're gonna, that's all part of it, knowing what milestones were going on that day, what benchmarks people hit, and that was all part of their SOP. So there might be a, a picture or a video of me demonstrating how to do that cool down circle. Think of that in every single aspect of your business. Just because I'm talking about a gym doesn't mean this isn't related to every single freaking business, every single position, every single task. Let's talk on the admin side of things. Creating a contract for a new client. There should be step by step. I'm talking in fucking detail. Like upper right hand corner. Click the orange button that says new customer with the plus sign. Add in the customer name, phone number, email, whatever. Then add in this, add in that. Exactly then click here. Click that. Click continue. Copy and paste this. Plug it into here. Each one of those things has a checklist. Each one of those steps has a corresponding screenshot with a red circle showing exactly where it is to hit it. In addition to that, it has a link at the top to a video walking you through this with a screencast with my ugly ass video in the corner or an, a manager or whatever explaining what we're doing while I'm walking through doing it. So you had a written explanation, you had screenshots and a video, actual video demonstration screencast walking you through the process for every single task. Now imagine every single task we're talking about. Is this shit boring to create? Fuck yeah. Does it take a lot of time to create? Fuck yeah. Does it take a lot of preparation to create? Fuck yeah. Well, it actually costs money to create this because you have to spend, take time doing it yourself or pay someone else to do this. Does it take time and money and effort and energy? And is it boring as hell? Fuck yeah. But here's the thing. It is one of the greatest returns on investments of you can do of what you can do with your time in your time to create shit for your business. Because this is something tangible. This is something that's going to allow you to never have to do this task again. Let's take the project, for instance. Every week, I would do a live video for project candidates. Guys who had signed up for the project and had a or were in the pipeline waiting for an upcoming class. Every single week. I would do that. I would do that session, and that's fine. That's what I can do, and do could do it. Do it great. So I would do it. But afterwards, I also was the one that had to then go into Zoom, download the recording from Zoom, change the name of the recording, take that from Zoom of two different versions of it: this the the gallery version, the speaker version, both names. Download them both to my computer, then take them from there, change the name of it, upload them to YouTube. Put them into YouTube, change the name there, put the tags and all the stuff on YouTube to get a YouTube link, take the YouTube link and the date of the video, put it on the spreadsheet, take it from there, take the YouTube link, put it in an email to then send out to the list of all the current people that were paid for the project that were, had upcoming classes so it could be sent out to them. Now that's, if you saw the steps that it took for that, it's like a page and a half of clicks and steps and copy and paste and change this name, put that there, drag this here. It only takes about 10, 15 minutes, but that's something I had to do every single freaking week. And I did that for a good six to eight months or even longer. I said, you know what? Why the fuck am I doing this? So one day, I spent about 35, 40, probably close to an hour doing it, and I took my time. But while I was doing it, I took screenshots. While I was doing it, I, I did drawing on the screens and circled what I was doing. While I was doing it, 
I typed in literally step by fucking step everything I was doing. Then I went back and did it again, normal speed, explaining what I was doing while I recorded a screencast while I actually did it again. So I had, it took a, a good hour to do this, but guess what? That was a year ago now, and I've never fucking done it since because I taught it to someone else that I could then delegate so I can elevate and do more important things that only I can do, like create more content, like create an SOP. And there are certain SOPs that if someone is already doing that position, they are the ones that can help create at least a framework, and then maybe you're going to run through it. And there are ways. There is a, there, you, here's how crazy it is. You should have an SOP on how to create a fucking SOP. Fucking nuts, but right? First, you need to have awareness. All right, all right, what are the things that I'm doing regularly? What are the things I'm doing regularly that I don't need to be doing, that anyone could do? That I could teach a fucking robot to do, or someone else. What's something that is not the best use of my time? that I can delegate so I can elevate. What is not the best use of my time? And I'm gonna make a list of those things. And then I'm gonna organize those into order of priority about the ones I wanna get rid of. So that maybe it's things that I'm either not good at or things that I don't like, or maybe things that I'm not good at and don't like. Fucking miserable combination right there, right? So I'm gonna then go and do that task. I'm gonna document every single step I'm gonna, so they could be executed with excellence by someone who's never done it before. It's gonna be written, it's gonna be screenshots, it's gonna be screencasts, it's gonna be video explanation, video demonstration of every single freaking task. Then I'm gonna optimize it. I'm gonna go through it and review it. What can be eliminated? What can be simplified? Does, it, does the order make sense? Is it efficient? Then I'm gonna test it myself. I'm gonna act like I'm fucking dumb and just do only what's on that SOP to test it out. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna run through just the written steps and uncover any gaps, what, what is missing. Then I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna share it with someone and have someone else test it, only the steps, not knowing the tribal knowledge they know, not knowing the, the, the stuff that they're assuming should be done or the stuff that they just know needs to get done for it, only following what's in the written SOP to test it out. Then they are gonna give feedback and, and we're gonna change it, edit it, whatever we need to do, what needs to be added, what needs to be edited, what didn't work, what didn't flow, what could be rearranged. So it's optimized, there's two different pairs of eyes on it that have tested it out. Then we are gonna take, take that and it should be good to go and, and run with it. Letting every, anyone who needs to use it actually now go and put that out there into the real world to be used and let Whoever needs to use it, know where they can find it, show them how to use it, how it works, how it operates, teach them on it, coach them up on it, practice it, show them how it works, and let them fucking run with it. And then schedule edits and changes. So let's say a computer program gets updated. Maybe that now, now that thing looks different. You might need to, depending on the SOP, depending on the task, might need to be updated every year, maybe every quarter, maybe every month, depending on the industry you're in and how rapidly things change in technology or whatever it is. But that checklist should be done for every single task. And you should have an SOP on how to create an SOP. That's called having your shit locked in and dialed in. That's called operating to dominate. That's called creating fucking freak freedom so that you can have get more done in less time to have more time to do the shit that you actually should be working on or the shit you actually want to do or maybe have some free time or maybe go actually work out some more or maybe, how about this, go spend some fucking time with your kids instead of doing this dumb shit you shouldn't be doing that you can easily teach and delegate out to someone else. So this is just a quick dirt dive into to SOPs, standard operating procedures. Now, that is the first step and what's needed in order to delegate. Now, delegation, how to delegate, which is what we'll talk about next week, is needs an SOP on how to delegate. Yes, every fucking task. And these were management level tasks or owner level tasks that we're talking about. Leadership level tasks, where we're starting. Because these are probably, the, if, if you start a business, you're doing everything yourself, eventually you need to grow a team. So if you think you don't need to do this stuff, oh, I don't need that right now because I don't have a team. This is exactly the fucking time you need to do it. So it's ready. So when a team comes in, it's like, bam, you have your shit dialed in, locked in. And you could teach them at a much more rapid pace. And you don't have to spend so much one-on-one -on -one time with them. Sure, you're still going to spend one-on-one -on -one time and because in coaching and ongoing coaching, guidance, leadership, and mentoring. But to get them up to speed, to get them started, to get them onboarded, to teach them how to do it, 
you have this SOP locked in place, it's going to make it so much faster and you're going to be able to spend 80% less one-on-one -on -one time with them if they're doing the due diligence to fucking learn how to do their position, how to do all these different tasks. So create SOPs, create an SOP on how to create SOPs, create an SOP on how to delegate, which we'll go into next week. And it will change your fucking life. It'll change your business. It'll give you, help you dominate your days and it'll create your freak freedom. That's what it's all about. Create these SOPs, standard operating procedures. And, and of course, it's a lot more detailed than that. If you need a higher level help with this, you we can talk about it. We could jump on the phone and even help you create your, your own SOPs for your company step by step. We could hold you by the hand and even go through that entire process with you with some, some private coaching. But it, if this is clicking, if this is making sense, and you're knowing, fuck, I need to do that. I haven't been doing it. If you haven't been doing it, it's because, oh, I don't have time to do it. If you don't have time to create an SOP, you need to create 10 SOPs. Because the reason we don't have time to create SOPs is because you didn't create SOPs. You get it? The whole fucking chicken and the egg thing. So get your shit together. Go create some SOPs. If you need help with it, reach out. If you want some information on some private coaching, send a message. We could jump on the phone and talk about it. Or check out the Freak Mode 40 Daily Discipline Habit Challenge, which will help you out in all areas of life, the mind, the body, the business, the self, the social, creating habit stacking to create your daily disciplines in everyday freaking life. The Freak Mode 40 Daily Discipline Habit Challenge. Check it out. It's a, I'll put the link down in the comments below or it's up in the bio. Just Or just ask me, send me a message, ask me a question about it. Let's talk about, let's take you, your business, and your fucking life to the next level. If you need any help or have any questions, just put them in the comments below or just send me a private message. We could jump on the phone and talk about it. And in case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses.